Following the tragic incident which killed former Pittsburgh Penguins player Adam Johnson, there has been a worldwide call for more protection for hockey players, specifically net guards for youth players. Our Philip Ward spoke with parents, players, and hockey leaders in our area tonight. So, Philip, what are they saying? Well, Emily, some leagues even prior to the incident mandated that players wear net guards, but many youth hockey leagues throughout the country do not require them. However, here in our area, it is required for youth players. If it helps save a life, they're fine with wearing them. It just feels normal now because I've been wearing it for so many years. Ethan Speedy Greedler plays for the Erie Junior Otters and has no problem wearing a net guard. The piece of equipment is mandated in the Pittsburgh Amateur Hockey League that the Junior Otters play in. Parents of the players I spoke with believe the added layer of protection should be mandated, and the earlier they learn to wear one, the better. My kids have always worn one, and it's never really been an issue with us. And I think if you start at an early age, then it just becomes a routine thing for them. I have three boys. They've all played. Two of them still currently play, and I do feel that neck guards are very important, and they should be mandated. They really don't find it as a big deal. We, um, we make sure that they have them on when they hit the ice. We pack extras in case they don't. Um, because it's a real simple, thin piece of material that can save your life. Shirt net guard, so it's built in. Ken Walfarth is a coach for the 14U Minor Junior Otters, as well as the president of the Erie Youth Hockey Association, and says he is starting to see the net guard worn at even higher levels. Even in adult league, we have adults that, that wear them regularly. It, it doesn't make any difference. It, it's very lightweight. Um, and they're built in, some of them are built into the shirts. So you wouldn't, it's just something you'd put on every day. It's like your uniform. Christian Hill is the Mercyhurst University women's hockey team's athletic trainer and explains how having the correct neck guard can save a player's life. There are some companies out that are building it into the undergear, kind of like a base layer component. Um, but yeah, if you're looking at neck guards, your biggest thing you want is a Kevlar based, you know, a, a true uh, protectant against uh, any blades or even sticks uh, for that matter. And even if the mandate wasn't there for the junior otters, Walforth says safety always comes first. We're wearing it. Yep. yep, all the way up through. Doesn't matter. And Emily, other youth hockey leagues throughout the country are under the umbrella of USA Hockey, which does not require neck guards, but does strongly recommend them. Walfarth also says that even though some other leagues have started to mandate the guards, he doesn't believe the NHL will. Live in the studio, Philip Ward, Erie News Now.